Okay, in this lesson, we are beginning to draw a pattern uh, to 2D window. We begin with this, these tools. When you holding mouse over that, a submenu will be open and we can access to four other common for <coughs> designing. The first is uh, polygon. You, it means you can uh, simply click, 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 and draw a shape for yourself. When everything is done, that you back to the first point because in this software we do not uh, attending to draw a curve. We have a need a close curve for preparing and close for us a fabric for us. Okay, so we need a close curve. In this software, we don't have any open cap. And for canceling, you have to escape for canceling that. <clears throat> if you click, 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 and want to back to the, for example, uh, you draw this point uh, in the wrong direction or position, you can click on the back space on your keyboard to back. Okay. And okay, cancel it. As you can see, uh, we are in a tool. Another tool is here that I explain more is the transfer pattern A. If you want to use a clotrid in a professional, you have to keep in your mind in the shortcuts. This tool actually do two things: cancel the other tools, and you can with that you can transform and select the objects or pattern. I mean. And we also have a transform tool or select or move in a 3D. Okay. I will explain more what is this, what is this uh, uh, angle, uh, pivot, and others in the next lesson. So we draw a, and we can delete that. Again, for uh, as you can see, if we change control Z, if we change the 2D pattern in the 2D window, it will not. Uh, affect the 3d window it's very nice because um, imagine that you sewing a part of the uh, <coughs> close to the together and if you change it in here it will, if it will change everything will be dismissed here okay so it is very good that they are independent from each other you can draw your here and uh, you can uh, bring it anywhere in the scene and organize it here <coughs> For better drawing here, we can go into the just 2D window, maximize 2D window, maximize 3D window, all two window together. Go into the 2D window here. If you change the user interface of the software, you can here go in and reset layout. This is a default layout. I'll close that and go into the 2D window for better understanding. <coughs> go into the polygon. And uh, in this part, I want to uh, click and I want to draw an accurate and a straight line. You can simply hold shift. If you hold in shift, you can draw a straight line if you want. As you can see, <coughs> it's awesome. And done. Um, and select and delete it. <coughs> Going to the polygon mode again and select. If you want to draw exact number, for example, this is a centimeter. As you can see, uh, a number will be appear here. Going to the setting and user setting. In user interface in a unit system, you can specify your unit that you want. Millimeter, centimeter, inches. I like centimeter. Centimeter. <coughs> If you want to draw, for example, exactly 10 centimeters from for the next click, you can hold and shift for uh, going straight and right click. Before clicking, right click. And you can create a polygon. You can specify the length. Simply click in 10 centimeter, and I will explain the mirror selection. As you can see, you draw exactly 10 centimeter. So before clicking for the second, Right click to uh, type your desired number you want. And as you can see, this is a polygon mode. If you click and drag, click and drag, you can um, draw a tangent mode. Click and drag. As you can see, that's a tangent. 
and going to the first and after that with another two that I will be explaining edit pattern you can go back and edit them and edit the tangent and uh, change your design or your pattern uh, okay bring it here again the a you can keep it remember shortcut a means that okay another thing about the polygon is if you before clicking you holding control and click holding control and click design a bezier like this a bezier line like this uh, these when you click that these uh, green uh, red uh, red uh, points is if you mention it it's a curve point as we explained them can change them delete that another thing about the polygon uh, so you learn uh, you can uh, draw a curve by click and drag or holding control okay if you don't need to you can go back and click to draw a rectangle if you want and after that you can go back and change it anytime that you want don't worry another interesting tool about the polygon is mirroring if you want to exactly mirror at the other side of the pattern before clicking you have to right click here is a mirror correction if you turn it on as you can see it's mirror exactly uh, at the opposite side access is a local it means the this axis <coughs> this axis uh, means that the uh, the axis that is perpendicular to the line that you are drawing this is unlocal but i want to exactly to mirror a, across the y axis this is a y axis and this is an x axis you can change your y axis as you can see it's a mirror exactly at the y axis or if you want to <coughs> x axis the axis the center of the axis is exactly the first point that you draw okay in this mode i want to mirror at the y-axis and hit ok and as you can see you can draw a mirror and send back and our pattern will be appear here <clears throat> two things are very important in this as you can see the other part is in a light blue and the uh, other this the part that we draw is a yellow this it, this is means it is in a mirror mode and this dash line in between them exactly at the middle of this pattern means this is a symmetrical and mirror if you're going to edit point edit pattern and uh, click and drag any point that you want as you can see it's symmetrically change it's very nice and powerful okay you can symmetrically change that's it another important thing about uh, polygon <clears throat> another tool is rectangle if you want to draw a rectangle you can simply click and drag or if you want to draw a square holding shift to draw a square if you want if you want to draw exact dimensions before click and drag and you can click click on a scene the create rectangle will be up here i will be explaining re uh, replicator or duplicate in the next lesson here you can change the width and height this link is, is open it means you can <clears throat> freely change the dimensions without abs uh, affecting the widths and draw a rectangle if you click a link uh, you can change a corresponding or proportionally open the link and if you want to screw a square draw an exact number and cl close the ring and now you can design you can create a square for you okay this link is very important and hit okay and you can click and drag at any direction if you go into the select mode you can select multi object with holding shift uh, like others software window and move them i'll be explaining <coughs> transfer pattern then okay because we have lots of tools with that just we are drawing here can you draw an ellipse as you can see uh, those uh, red dots are curve point that we can edit them 
If you want to draw a, a circle, you're holding shift. As you can see, you can change the curve point. Or you want to draw exact number, accurate curve or ellipse, you can click as seen before click and drag. Here you can specify the diameter. For example, all of their all of them are linked. It means if you change the radius or diameter, it create a circle for you. For example, too many. From here to here is a diameter. Or if you want to activate a radius, as you can see, it's half of the diameter, and from center to the quarter of the radio the circle is. Uh, radius uh, uh, if as you can see if you change the heights width the heights is changing corresponding to that if you want to uh, draw an ellipse you have to open that links and as you can see you can change the width and height to draw an ellipse this is an height and this is an width of the ellipse or you can specify the circumference of your circle or your ellipse very simple for example from here going back to here is 100 centimeter that's okay <clears throat> and another interesting tool is a spiral if you click here you can draw in a spiral here cancel it to bring it there click you cannot click and drag you just have to click <coughs> you can uh, change the radius length side offset and direction if you click any of them to change them you can see what is that for example inner radius this is from the center to the, here is the inner radius you can change it this is uh, inner length this red line <coughs> this yellow <laughs> sorry line, line yellow line and outer radius, this yellow line, you can change it if you want. And inner side, you can change the inner side or outer side. And offset. The offset is distance from the center of the inner side to the outer side. You can change the direction clockwise or counterclockwise. It's okay. And sometimes for uh, some closes, we need this uh, effect. It's very easy to use for our spiral. And that's it. And now you can create your, this is the main tool for this software, those, these tools. You can design your pattern very easily with these tools. Okay, going to cancel these tools. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.